So, <clears throat> I figured I would start making a blog um, about what I'm going through. Um, my name is Heather. I am 33 years old and I am a victim. Okay. Uh, I have a huge task on my hands that I've been dealing with by myself. Um, I don't know if anybody else knows what this is like, but I have been basically re-victimized. And I don't know if anybody else knows what that means, but I do. Um, it took me about five years to figure it out, but I do. It's um, 7.15 in the morning, and I was up till probably three reading over laws, like I usually do. Um, it's quite interesting how after you are deemed a victim that you realize that it's not that much of a prize. Um, I think that people glorify something that shouldn't be glorified. Um, but that's probably because they may not understand what it's like to um, be victimized. Um, I was beaten pretty bad and stabbed in front of my children. Um, and the city where I live in, I've lived here pretty much my whole life. And so it's, uh, it's one of those towns where you think, ooh, um, she did it to herself or um, it, all kinds of things. I, we made the news and so he likes to run his mouth about all kinds of things and people believed him. And until now, I haven't really known why, but I do because they just weren't there. So I decided that maybe it's time to talk about maybe the process of what I'm going through because maybe eventually somebody will see this and maybe it'll help them. I don't know. But so far, <clears throat> I found out about a year ago that uh, I didn't really have custody of my own kids. Um, it happens to be that my stepfather is an attorney in this town. He's a trust attorney, um, so he handles everybody's <clears throat> money. So he has some pretty big pull, and um, it's always worked in my favor up until now. Uh, but it's pretty horrific to think and scary to think that people can get away with whatever they want. And it's not just the felon that went to prison for stabbing you and beating you. It's the lawyer who you see every day who is supposed to be a high standing person in this community. And he knows what he's doing. And he's keeping my son from me. Uh, he's also damaged my other son, who, poor, poor guy, he's, he's lost, and, um, I'm partly to blame for that. I put him in this situation where he had to see violence at a very young age, and he protected his brother, and he saw some horrific things, and... Nobody really cares but me. Um, so I'm fighting every day for him and um, for my other son, who now has become another victim in another way because he's a victim of a child custody dispute and I have tried everything to prevent it. But I have to fight. He's my son. It's been almost 365 days that uh, I've seen him once for no reason. There's no reason for this um, except for other people's selfish motives. There's no reason. I'm a fit parent. I go to work. I have insurance. I 
can feed my children, I can clothe my children, I love my children, and they both know it. Um, they're exceptional. They're both gifted. Um, both get good grades. So, uh, despite the fact that I may have not always been the best mom, I did okay. Um, and now I'm jumping through hoops in a court system without a lawyer because I can't afford one. And... I know that there's help out there, but trying to find it, I live in Wyoming. Wyoming has never uh, actually adopted any sort of laws, really. They have laws for victims, but not really, because they get violated all the time. Um, so far, I have an entire file, but I was trying to make a list last night of how many places... I have reached out for help in the last six months, mind you. Um, I have been turned down by legal aid because I don't, I make too much. They'll, for some reason, uh, count my boyfriend's income. I was turned down by Modest Means, which is a program for people who don't qualify for legal aid because they wouldn't count my boyfriend's income, which is quite weird, um, even though they said they wouldn't. Uh, the Coalition of Domestic Violence turned me down. They were going to take my case, but then all of a sudden they couldn't take my case. Um, there was one of the highest, I mean, two high standing law firms have turned me down in this uh, town. One citing conflict of interest, I get that. Uh, one said she just wasn't interested. Okay. Um, there's also personal injury lawyers, some of the best in the state, turned me down. Uh, I have actually reached out to three or four different attorneys in Colorado. Turn me down. Um, I'm talking like your late night commercial attorneys. Turn me down. Um, I actually, um, reached out to a couple of nationwide attorneys. Turn me down. Um, Children's Law Center. Never heard back from them people. Um, I reached out to Victims Compensation. That was a joke. Um, basically, they were like, we don't owe you nothing, even though I was fired from my job and I was trying to amend an application. All these Wyoming statutes that I know that they can actually bypass certain things, they don't care. My son, they don't care. He's a victim of a crime. Who gives a shit? Um, from the director of vision, who is it? The director of victim services basically told me to go kick rocks. Um, I've reached out to the National Organization for Victims Assistance. They referred me to somebody else, to somebody else, to somebody else, to somebody else. On the U.S. Attorney's Office, I did talk to the victim coordinator. She was wonderful. I accidentally gave her the wrong number because my brain's been freaking fried. Um, but no, I think I actually have a TBI, which is something called traumatic brain injury. Um, that's a whole nother blog day, but, um, she couldn't do anything. Nothing. She could reach out for the coalition and still haven't heard from them either. Again, big surprise. Um, and I just recently reached out to the University of Wyoming for their law clinic. Um, that literally is just what I could remember. That's not all of them. I'm a victim. And no one will help me. Um, it's really, really sad. And I hope that if you're out there and you're having the same problems, you know, I guess I could tell you not to give up, but I can't even tell myself that half the time. I'm angry. I'm mad. Um, I'm not even really mad about <clears throat> the whole victimization. I'm mad about the fact that no one will, will listen. And that um, I want my son back. And my parental rights have been violated. I mean, who violates this many laws and nobody does anything? What's wrong with society is that they say that there's help. There's no help. There's no help. Um, but there is one thing. Um, 
It's called grit. And I've got it. And I had a grandfather who taught me a whole heck of a lot about it. And it must be the Irish in me. It must be the street kid in me. I don't know. But I'm not going to let him win. So this is Heather. Usually I go by my artist name, Buddha Lady, but this is, this is me. Uh, letting everybody know that, you know, um, I'm going to fight. And I will document every step of the way from now on. And hopefully maybe in the end it might help somebody. So. Here comes another day of phone calls and being let down, but I'm not going to give up. I'm going to get my son back and I'm going to bring this case as far as I can bring it because it's what's right and it's American and for crying out loud, I might as well. So, yeah. We'll see how it goes.